up a bit later as they meet UNC Asheville. We are underway in Washington, D.C. As they want to contest jump shots and then block out. Cooper picking up the layup. Mack is the consummate combo guard. And now he has the ability to play off the ball. And you can see terrific perimeter shooting team. Looking at the resume of this Colonial Athletic Association Conference team, Old Dominion, they are very today have been in this building this season. So there is no problem with the arena they're in. Right now, Matt. Darius James looking down low, can't find anyone, gives it up to Finney. Cooper tips it in. Now he's much more perimeter oriented. The uh, hotel to the arena really reminded him of that run they had last year to the national championships. Said it's uh, an awfully important opportunity. He just hopes his Bulldogs play well here. Finney on the offensive glass. A little bit of it, and we'll keep you appraised of how they did start against West Virginia. And Eagle and Jim Spinarkle are in Tampa. Vern and Raft are in Denver. And Kevin Holland, Wesley Miller, and Dan Bonner are out west in Tucson. Tino Lodasi is coming to the game. That uh, Butler has a lot of screen rolls in their man-to-man -man offense, and uh, this team playing a lot more zone. And I think teams may start to play more zone in general, Tim. Uh, what a night! Like Memory when they made their run to the Final Four. Back in '98. Using that pitch wisely. Van Zan off the bounce. Defense is really beginning to take control. Mack runs down the low rebound. Oh, what a nice look inside. Again, those two big to Andrew Smith. A steal by Moran. Well, your top position in this tournament recently. Leon is giving it up. Hazemore fires James. Boy, that was a good read. Zant with a jump stop and the deuce to get one to go down since the very early moments. He only threes his first two shots knocked down since then. Not a good look. And Zant, he rounds a three-pointer on the afternoon. Marco Delancey back on the floor number 22. Minutes here and get some touches. Butler and Martin about Andrew Days, who a uh, <laughs> star for Seton Hall. Mack again trying to negotiate into the paint. And he does 16 minutes since his last field goal. Well, he's been more of a facilitator, Tim. He's been looking to distribute the ball. He's starting to be a little more aggressive and looking for his shot. Nice work by has slipped and not being able to battle as hard as he might against Purcell. Matt pumps for three. He's something else. They went to dinner the other night. And the team got a standing ovation as they were leaving the steakhouse. That didn't happen to his team a year ago. Hassel. Wins. Game clock winding down. Last shot opportunity coming for Old Dominion. Bazemore in traffic. The answer on the offensive glass by Hassel. And we come to the break. 12 lead changes. In Look at the fact Butler averages over 20 free throw attempts in uh, on the year for a game. They have not gone there yet in this game, and that's the zone that's been able to keep them out. Right away, telling Blaine, my bad. You're no kidding. Yeah, please get me back in, will you, coach? <laughs> He's over there lobbying for his minutes right now. And him down from the perimeter. Well, it looks like Hassell uh, could be a lobbyist. He's in D.C. He did manage to get right back to the scorer's table, didn't he? No Gucci loafers on, though, no, for him. <laughs> Finney counted on a foul. Thanks, and uh, rooted out Stigal. Right. With the looks that you're getting right now, some open threes here early. The dump down to Hassell. Both feet in the lane that time. 900 boards in their career. Played beyond his years a season ago, and, uh, and now a stalwart veteran.
Smith will jump hook baseline. And the iron comes. I'm going right into Hassell. Force the issue with Smith. Make him defend. Oh, he, he gambled and lost. Never mind that Stevens is gambling with both. Over on TBS. Out of Tucson, Penn State, and Temple. And over on CBS, Clemson, and West Virginia. They have to look up at the... 15 lead changes in this game. Hassell, again, pretty good defensive offering considering counted and the foul. That's well, with four, it's imperative that Howard not pick up his four. Zant, Mack, with a three-guard look. Guys that can really handle it. Butcher is coming to the game along with Howard. And a Butcher. 32 in the game. And field goal attempts, and he scores 12 and a half on the year. This time out, Blaine Taylor telling his guys they got to keep pushing the ball up and down. Ryan, right, this showed up. We talked about uh, them and how they figure prominently in the uh, rebounding statistics nationally. Laura pumps. Howard on the floor. That one does not go from deep. There's a sell on the glass along with Carter. And every time there's a whistle, Mike, inside. Howard retrieves it. Gives it up to Han and gets it back for three. For Butler. And for the first time, uh, Blaine Taylor extending his defense to take some time off the shot clock. And Zant really tough jump stop. Butcher, Butcher again on the offensive line. And Van Bonner over on TNT with a Keep an eye on all those games up at the top of your. Matt. Howard taps it to Butcher. What presence of Howard. Five-point lead for the Bulldogs. Baysmore, a little scoop to the hoop that won't go, and Finisher has given Brad Stevens some quality. Brad Stevens has massaged this uh, front-line foul situation about as well, Matt. On True TV. That comes from Newcastle, Indiana, huh? Well, now you get uh, you, you give Mac a little bit of a rest. Let's see if it goes all the way down to under the eight-minute mark. Hands. Baysmore comes in there with another steal. Defensive player of the year in CAA. He's come through some times with knee troubles, but uh, really did the job while Smith was set. Smith on the floor, number 44 in white play with four. Kings not there. That one will be over. A couple of really casual possessions for Butler. He's more, gives it back to Perry. Hudson and Perry's with all of it. Howard off the field. Lorette, Allie, you come to Howard, and he's fouled. Lorette, Humphrey Butler. The half-court grind is underway as the pressure amps up. So these two teams are on the floor for the first time. To get transition points, but they're not there, Mike. No, on screen, West Virginia is uh, taking some control against Clemson. Coming off that court, he drives with a runner. And a foul like that. <laughs> <laughs> to get Butcher out and set something up with the two bigs. James giving it up to Finney from downtown. Howard with the loose ball will go the other way. Finney with two. Team that couldn't hit the ocean. 58-52, Bulldogs by six. Hassell. Around Hassell inside. Hassell in traffic. Nice ball fake. And he gets it to go. Tim, he was buried on the baseline, but was able to bail himself out with that move. The one dribble in the ball fake. Monarchs now only down by two. Howard and Smith have uh, managed to stay eligible in this game with the help of Butcher inside, who's now on the floor for Smith. Deflected away by Hassan. And retrieved by Keon Carter. So now 
Old Dominion shoots for the tie or the lead on this possession. Not enough air on that pass to Howard. He was open. Who wants the shot? Hassel is calling for it. Puts your smaller defender is there. On the offensive glass, it's knocked away, but lost by Norad. That's war. It's their option, obviously. One would think they're going to get the first good look and take it. And uh, this foul by Vantory shooting team at Old Dominion. Four out of six today. Here we go, tied. The eighth seed, the ninth seed, on True TV in D.C. You want to make absolutely sure you get the last shot at your butler. Ten ties, 21 lead changes. May we see another. Old Dominion on a 6-0 run. This is a veteran move. No timeouts. They know what they want to do. Sheldon Mack will initiate the offense. And what a terrific play. You want to get something going to the rim. Be aggressive. He actually fell down. Smith keeps it alive. A tap out. And Howard right there. And that is clearly out of his hands. That's a good basket. Yeah, that should count. And how about this? Smith and Howard with four fouls managed to navigate through the game, stay eligible, and win it. Well, Van Zandt tripped. And that was just a terrific play by Smith to keep it alive. And Howard, in those instances, a lot of times you rush the shot to try to beat the clock. The officials say yes, it's good. And Butler beats Old Dominion at the buzzer.